welcome to Blue Garden Cottage. It's lovely to be with you again. It's lovely to have you with us again. This being a craft week, we have been up to a bit of crafting. As promised before, I showed you we were going to make the patterns for the Tudor Dolls house. And I wanted to show you something else we came across by an absolute bargain. And it shows some hope of what we could do before Christmas a bit quicker than with the Tudor Dolls house. Uh, these are the pieces ready laid out to mark the patterns and cut them out. I'll show you when I'm done with that. Well, here is the pattern pieces that I made for the Tudor Dolls house. I've made the pattern pieces out of the card that came off the bed. All I used was a pencil, a Stanley knife, and a ruler there. So, and that took me an entire day to mark out, cut out all of the pattern pieces. And now we're just re starting to remember where the bits go. And we're going to start reassembling the Tudor house. And I have something else to show you. And ta-da! Another doll's house. I mentioned it just in passing the other day with the last video that we found something that might make things a little bit easier to get something done for this Christmas. Well, we found this on Facebook. Um, my son alerted me to a news thing on the local our estate's news page on Facebook that somebody was getting rid of a doll's house. And of course it was such a lovely bargain um, that we jumped at it, went to collect it the following day and we thought there is damage, obviously it's been well used, there is some damage but it'll be much quicker and easier to fix this one and get it sold ready for this Christmas then I can focus on the Tudor one much more slowly because that's going to take a lot more work. But this one is just tidying up and fixing up little bits. And we're going to sand down, repaint, obviously keeping all the, the Georgian windows. But with all the others is going to be sanded down and repainted. Because this is a Georgian house, not a Tudor house. <clears throat> so it's going to be more Georgian. We need to fix these windows in place permanently because they're on hinges anyway and obviously this is the back part of the roof and the hinges were broken so if I take that off there I can show you better the damage inside obviously it was lifted at one point and this piece where the fixing goes in in the side ripped out and so has in that corner as well so we will take it apart, sand everything, prime it, we'll fill these up, straighten it up, fill, uh, fill it and sand it, and we will put new flooring down. Even though this is really nice wood, but it is not very realistic. Okay, so let's have a look inside and show you what else it's doing. This hinge on this side is obviously drooping, so it needs to be realigned. We're going to replace all the hinges with something far more sturdy. And obviously make much nicer um, trims and tidying up on the walls. We'll put proper painting on and decorations. Very tidy inside. Absolutely lovely. There's only one staircase. So we're going to have to make or buy another one. And I think you can actually buy them. The magnet needs screwing back in in there. Um... And it just needs some character inside, some decorating, and I'm going to put another partial false wall in there to give us like um, a hallway so that I can put the staircase in. What a pity. It has to go in that way, top and bottom. Okay, so we can't do anything about that. That stays the same, but this bit I will put a false wall in about there so that there's a landing and the doorway to the other one. There's a landing here and see if we can put another set of stairs in to the top floor so that we can utilize the top floor. Well, there is another staircase up there. 
there's the other staircase to go up there and then we'll put oh excuse then we'll put in another false wall on that side so that the smaller side can become a bathroom and this another bedroom and of course we'll just leave the roof as a hinged roof so that that can go up and find a way to um, keep the roof up without it falling over oh sorry about the focus I don't know why it's not focusing very well today but anyway <clears throat> I want to show you something else and along with the house came a bag full of absolutely fantastic doll's house accessories and when I picked the house up I was only expecting the house and the gentleman found a whole bag full of doll's house toys uh, accessories shall I say because this is not for children all the doll's house things that we looked for on the internet all said that these were for 14 years and over so not for young children probably because they're very expensive items I mean even this is a proper turned wooden feet really lovely and a TV cabinet and there was actually a TV and hi-fi and other bits that came with it as well um, and speakers You're so cute really looks real and then a little coffee table and a proper ba uh, grand piano and it even has the music sheets that fall down and the top folds down isn't that just adorable and the fireplace with a metal and glass covered carriage clock and a chandelier in metal nice weighty thing now the fireplace is just a sticker of a fire there what I will do is make it more realistic and I'll change that to be a real fire inside here with proper logs and maybe some paint and some um, little LED lights with a push button at the back so that the lights can turn on and look like a real fire. There is a rug and I just bought one actually. I think it's a bit bigger than this one. I just bought one last month I think for when I was doing the uh, for the Tudor house but I think I'll do this one finished first um, and this is really nice it's lovely and then there's the rocking horse for the baby and there is a porcelain doll uh, and the whole body is porcelain with moving arms and legs and the detail is just phenomenal and the baby cot is just so adorable and an ottoman that is lovely and this wardrobe check this out inside the wardrobe were some bathroom things actual loo roll paper rolled loo roll believe that so there's that a towel the towel bale and a bathroom cabinet look at that just so adorable that was inside of the cupboard. Must be a linen cupboard because there's no hanging stuff there. And then there's the table and chairs. The table needs a new leg on the side, so we'll make a new one of that. And then all that kitchen stuff. Look at that. It's so adorable. The, the, the baking stuff. We stand up. That is the freezer. And that is... Of the fridge and inside the fridge which really should go with the baking stuff is a bowl of raw eggs ready needs repainting a bit I think yeah so that is something in the fridge in the freezer that is adorable a chalkboard that can go on the wall ironing board with a little iron just how cute and adorable is that no wonder it's not for children this is grown-ups toys a washing machine that is just so cute as well oh let me put that away before the glass breaks two of these units with the drawers that open and this cupboard a bag of flour 
How cute is that? A cooker. A gas cooker, obviously. With a grill. And an oven. And I might just paint the inside to look even more like a real oven. And some more cupboards. Kitchen cupboards. It's just... How cute is all that, hey? That is just so adorable. So I absolutely love it. And I can understand why this is not for young children. This is like, I mean, <laughs> I would love this stuff. It sounds sad, but I really would. So anyway, I thought I'd just bring it up to date. Did I show you the other big, um, I bought a job lot of dolls house stuff i can't remember let me go and have a look first i'll go get that box so i am so sure that i already showed you all of these things before when i first got them i can't remember i'm sure i did unless i was just showing my friend um and it was just it shocked me all these adorable little things that i got in a job lot and i think i won the bid at i think 24 pounds which is a bargain really for all the stuff we got with another porcelain doll a little pail some various dishes and bowls i mean this is so 1970s a pie dish okay and then we've got a little encyclopedia and we've got some laundry powder a mouse trap awful thing but just how cute to small absolutely adorable oven gloves some papers some soap I think laundry soap some Ritz crackers that is just so adorable Swiss roll, some apothecary jars, tiny little things, and some more bit. Can't see what I'm doing. So awkward filming with the oh matzo meal. Oh my gosh, look at that matzo meal. A little bunny, weighing scales. I think there's a bowl missing for here. There should have been a bowl on there that's missing. I'll find something to replace it. I found amongst my stuff for my daughter when she was little, this little jug. I found that I kept for some reason. I found some Disney characters from a toy, which I will put in the baby's room. A rocking chair. Just look at that. Coffee pot, ketchup, bottle bedside table there's a turntable will you believe it a turntable corner chair i'm sure i showed you this before i'm sure of it uh, a drop leaf table on wheels i can't even remember what you call it but they're all going to be changed in color because i despise that stain and varnish it's despicable if they were more like the natural wood stuff, very different story out of lift as is. And I just love the stained glass in that cabinet. But it's closed. It doesn't open. I think it was deliberately, you know, glued closed. Nothing opens on that dresser. Bureau, actually. And this wardrobe, the door needs fixing. And this is what I got in this new job lot that I got from... That gentleman who I got the house from is the telly, the DVD player, the hi-fi and speakers, which I thought was adorable. I'm not sure it'll stay. Well, it might stay in this house. I mean, people live in Edwardian houses now and they still live their modern lives in it. So, you know, never know. Might put it in here or my granddaughter will inherit it for her doll's house. I bought some new hinges to fix things, but it won't be for fixing the doors because these need much heavier duty ones. I found some pictures that I'd kept to make little portraits out of, some cutesy ones for baby's room and some other pretty ones for a bathroom and so on. I can make frames out of. This is a photograph of one of my mom's paintings from many years ago. That will go in a doll's house that I get to keep. Along with this job lot, the lady who sent it to me also added, without me even expecting it, it wasn't even in the description, oops, envelopes and cards, 
portraits to put in frames. How adorable is that for Doll's House? That is just so cute. More pretty pictures and a lovely message from the lady. That was just so lovely. So we have a good basis of things to start with to get this house ready to be sold as soon as possible. Hopefully by December it'll be all finished, painted, decorated, fixed up and and looking absolutely lovely. And if you want to know how much these dolls' houses go for um, without, if you buy them in kit form without any paint or decoration and nothing else, then go on eBay and Amazon to check out dolls' houses and the price of them unfinished and undecorated. These specific ones, almost exactly the same, you can get, I think, from places like Argos. And they're a bit cheaper than that, but they don't come with any decorations inside. And they won't be, um, they'll be just as it is now with all that laminate stuff in. Um, and no decorations or anything inside. Very basic and bland. And it's still around £100 or more just for the house um, on its own. And no decorations or anything else. So, by the time we finish with this... It should help to pay for doing up the Tudor house because that one I want to do something really special for that one and it's going to be a Christmas grotto I've decided so there we go as far as crafts that is what we're working on today I finished all the patterns for the Tudor house today and obviously we'll make some changes so we don't infringe any copyright or design areas or anything like that it will be changed up when we make our own doll houses I'll make um, I'll try, see if I can get more dolls houses like these second hand that I can fix up and do up and repair and that would be good if I can do that we could do about four of them a year just because I like doing it I don't think there's a huge amount of money in it by the time you've done all the work but there you go we've got a good basis of stuff we need some master bedroom stuff and bathroom stuff so I'll sort all of those out before the house is finished. I can't wait. It's going to be great. So there you go. That is the newest project. We will, now that I've done all the patterning for the Tudor house, I can start being reassembled. This one can start being disassembled, ready to be filled, sanded and repaired and put back together once it's painted. Once it's all painted, then comes the decoration. And I cannot wait for that bit. That'd be exciting stuff. So I'm envisioning wood panelling on the walls, the lovely Georgian colours on the walls, the furniture will be all nice again. And it's not a museum, it's a doll's house where the dolls are living today. So it'll have all sorts of lovely bits in appropriate for today it's not going to be a period house you can actually get lots of period accessories i mean even for a tudor dolls house i think i told you last time when i was disassembling the other one that you can get real tudor accessories and decorations for a tudor proper tudor house and likewise for victorian i'm not so sure about edwardian i think you'd have to make quite a lot of stuff and be creative to if you wanted to do period houses but it is doable and it is fun. I would love to do a lot of different types of ones. So I think we might in future just come up with handcrafted from scratch ones. Cottage ones, little ones. I know you can get um, room boxes where you can make just a single room as a decoration for either Christmas or birthdays or whatever. Little garden rooms, conservatories. It's, I'm telling you. You go on the internet looking for dolls, houses and accessories and it's a rabbit hole you could get lost in. I'm telling you. So there, it's, I think <laughs> it's something that I missed out on as a young person. I don't think I had a doll's house when I was little. But I did have lots of other toys. So I don't think this ever just occurred to us. Anyway, oh, the candy man is around town. And selling his sweets and candies so anyway there you go all done ready to go 
exciting stuff. I've got a few other Christmas things to do for somebody who's asked us for stuff, stuff for gifts for others. So we've got a few things to do there. We'll be starting to work on those as well soon. Enough to keep us busy for the rest of the year. We'll keep you updated on what happens there. Next week being the Self-Reliance Week, I have something else to share with you. It's all going on and all happening. Lots of things spinning around in my head and, you know, it's bringing self-reliance and independence one step closer so there you go next week self-reliance this week the fun stuff the crafts so until next week i hope you find something crafty to do something creative because it really does stir you feeling positive and you know, there's nothing like being creative to give you a boost when you're feeling a bit low and stuck in a rut and just get creative with something whether it's drawing or painting or cutting stuff out or coloring in the coloring book oh i love the coloring books i've got two special ones and i haven't been able to color in for when was it i think january was the last time i was sitting coloring in oh my gosh i am gonna have to take my coloring book out of a monday or tuesday evening those are the only evenings i get to myself Right, folks, have fun. Enjoy your week until I speak to you next week. Let's hope there's still good weather next week. We've been promised, but you know. Oh, another thing on the garden side I discovered today the early signs of blight. So I have been chopping off every bit of sign of blight. And there are still some developing fruits on some of the tomatoes. Um, I'm going to check it every single day. I just want to leave some fruits on, on the unaffected plants as long as possible to develop. Um, as soon as I see blight, though, I will cut the trusses of fruit off and ripen them on the windowsill and get rid of the plants. It's so disappointing. Everything was looking so positive and so good until it's been so humid and windy in the last couple of days it's been fairly dryish and then damp and then warm it's very warm actually in temperatures between 17 and 23 degrees so it's humid it's overcast and windy all absolutely wonderful um circumstances for blight and other diseases to spread so i mean my gherkins are covered in powdery, powdery mildew so that's just the weather we've had. Anyway, more on that week after next, I think. Oh my goodness, the months are flying by too fast. Way too fast. But there are a few fruits to look forward to, like the passion fruit over there. And grapes, they're starting to turn colour. Yeah, there's not as many grapes this year as there was last year. I think it's because that pot, we need to cut the bottom of the pot off and stick it on top of another pot for more root space. I think it's a bit too restricted in there. Oh, and I saw wasps yesterday while I was cleaning under here. I saw wasps eating the um, cabbage white fly caterpillars. So, so much for pest control. Straying away from the crafts. Leave your wasps alone. They are predators and good guys because they eat the caterpillars. I mean, I was watching this wasp munch away at a caterpillar and it took no time at all to munch down an entire caterpillar. Where it put the caterpillar in its tiny body, I have no idea. Because the caterpillar was bigger than the wasp. But it ate it. The whole thing. Gruesome. But if you let nature do its thing, they will eventually be balanced and all of the, the predators will come and sort out your pests for you. Oh, anyway, more on that with the next gardening video. Until then, take care folks. Lovely to chat with you again. We'll speak soon. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. I've forgotten to do that for a while. Take care. Stay safe. Bye-bye.